Yeah, our, our today discussion is, is about uh, align the body and the mind. Now, first, I want you to talk a little bit. We, we can start like a mental exercise, letting you get one story, you know? Let's imagine we, we still live in the, in the caves, you know, you are a hunter. So let, let's start from there. Look, imagine you are in the, in the cave and suddenly you start feel hungry. Yeah. So when you start feel hungry, you can start, let think like the difference, like when you start feel hungry, is mental thing or is a physical thing? What tell you you hang hungry? The time. Yeah, because remember, no, you need to remember now we not know too much because now you eat when you want. So you don't know the difference between when you're hungry and when you want to eat something. But when you live in the cave, it's not the case because you don't have food all the time. So you just eat when you feel you need to eat. So it's a physical thing, it's biological. Yeah, your butt tell you you need to eat. Today we don't have we don't know too much that sensation anymore because we we mix the sensation what I want to eat or I need to eat. I love to eat that thing, I have the desire to eat something, or my bud asks for it something. Now I can tell like when I do the bodybuilding, I start to learn more the difference between one and each other. You know, I, I start to learn when my mind wants food because I am diet and my mind wants food. And when my bud wants food. And after time, I start understand the difference between both. When I need to really go restrict diet, I need to learn how to deal with the both sensation. When my butt asks for food, and when my mind asks for food, so you start to see the difference. I think like if you imagine we live uh, in, in the cave, so when you feel like you need to eat, it's like a biological thing. The physical tell you, and the, after the physical give you information for your mind to tell you, oh, you're angry. You need to eat something, yeah? And now you go for the mind thing. So what the next step is, now we need to create some weapon. So what weapon you want to create to, to go to the hunter? What weapon you like? Bone arrow. Bone arrow? <laughs> do, you, okay. do, you, do you really think though it was like, do you, I mean, it just makes sense to me, if you're living in a cave, you can't wait till you're hungry to go out and eat. You have to plan eating days in advance you're like i have to go hunting that takes planning so it wouldn't be just like hey i'm hungry now i'll go out and hunt now it's too late yeah so but the planning has to be there you have to be doing that getting your food before you're hungry yeah but that that the thing you know but what call you for eat is the the need the necessary the necessary food for your body and now your mind start work for this yeah first your butt tell you you're hungry and you need plan so next, go for the mind part. No, now your mind needs to start plan something, okay? Now you change the physical to the mind. The mind wants to plan. So you plan, like say, you need to plan to have like food, you need to plan to make the bio, bio arrow. You need to plan. So you, now you go for the mental. The physical tell you you need food, and after your mind tell no, you need to prepare before. Don't wait for the, the food, yeah? The mind. So this is the problem, you know, if, he, if you stay and move for the mind and now you just be in the mind thing, you think, oh, I need to look for food, I need to prepare the bio arrow, I need to do this, and just thinking, and now you don't feel... Without feeling good. Yeah. So now, now, and if you just stay there in the cave, just think about how to do it, you just the mental thing. So the physical start and now in the mental. Now you need to align both. Now you need to take the physical and the mental to do something. If not, you just stay in the, in the cave, yeah? So now you start prepare. For start prepare, you need to be there. And when I start make like the boy on arrow, you need both. You need the mental and the physical do the same thing. So both work for the same reason. So now you start align both ones. If you just think about, oh, I need food, I need to do this, and never do it physically, so you're not aligned. Your body and your mind is not aligned to do the same thing. So it's the same thing now, if you put that, now I need to make money, now I not have money enough, I want to buy this thing, all this thing, so you're in the mental. But if you don't act, if you don't do what you need to do, it, you're just in the mental state, you know? So don't work. So every time you need to combine the both things to make something, so now you go there. 
and you need to be there 100 percent to do it what you need to do it make your weapon yeah so now you start to use more your mental thing oh where i go to hunt you start remember oh yeah i think that direction have some food there some animal i can and can hunt so you use again your mind and next step you need to align your mind and your body you need move and go there yeah and when you see the, the hunt you need to go to hunt it again now you need focus 100 percent and your physical ability to hunt if you think uh, too much about oh i need i need to kill that animal if i don't have that food i die if you create too much story thinking too much you're not able to have the ability to do what you need to do it i don't know if your guys have like the opportunity to do i think for sure something so physical you 100 so physical but your mind in there and just do the thing is enough to you feel good yeah maybe i think the more more easy way to all remember when you think about sexuality when you do sex yeah it's a 100 physical thing most of the time is the biological way the physical ask you for this you know you have the mental too you know people addicted for sex did this but if you think like just biologic your butt asked for this because you need to survive so your butt asked for this and you do the action you know you do the physical thing and you 100 percent there it just do it is out is is good enough not for any reason for that you know so what you're looking for the flow for combine the body the mind you want the body the mind want the same thing this is the hard part because we don't recognize this. Sometimes your bud wants something, but your mind wants different things. So this is become the real problem. Doesn't matter what direction you go. If your bud, your mind go for the same direction, you have success. No, but if your bud wants something, your mind want another thing. It don't work together. You cannot have success. And you know, have pleasure just and do it thing. So when you put like in Jiu Jitsu contest, on the martial art contest, okay? If you think like, why I want you to train Jiu Jitsu? It's because I want to become better than somebody. I want to become the number one. I want to become the champion. We don't judge this. It's not good or bad, but you need to see clear. This is mental, mental thing. It's not what your bud want. You to work your mental one. Your mental wants you to become better than everyone. Your, your mentally, you want to become the best one. Okay, you go for that direction, okay? But your bud cannot follow this because your bud, your physical, can just attach for the present moment. Your bud just can work in what you do in the exact moment. Your mind not. Your mind can go to the future, yeah? I want this. You can go to the future or your mind can go to the past fear i cannot do this it's too dangerous or too hard the guy the better than me the guy strong the guy's the black belt you can create many story to the past or to the future so the nature of the mind is go to the past and the future the mind don't want to be in the present you need to start pay attention to this check if your mind can be in the present well, every time when you're thinking you want something because you think about the future when you have fear or desire, it's again in the future or based on the past. What you already had before, you want again. You want to repeat again. So this when they talk about like the sex, the same idea, you know. You have it in that moment, your body, your mind, 100% there. So you feel good. But and when finish after time, your brain, your memory wants to remember and you want that sensation again. So now your body, your mind is not the same alignment. Can you have both? Like they say, Michael Jordan used to imagine the basket going, going through. You know what I mean? Like get what do we call it? touchdown? <laughs> what do we call it? Basketball going through the net. You know, he would just imagine it going through, but he was in the moment of being there, but also 100%. This will yeah, that, that alignment when you visualize, but where you are is not just dream about. Dream about I want this thing. Dream about but never do what you need to do it. So his head in the hand, his hand visualize. So now is when you, when you combine the two things. Okay. Because sometimes you can lose the mind too. For example, the animal, the instinct, when you're angry or you can kill somebody, the mind is not there. 100% biologically you want to do something. 
So this becomes the problem too. So this for us in martial arts, you want to align the both things, the mind and the body. But this is why I think it's important you guys recognize for yourself, the body just exists in the exact moment, only in the now. The body don't have time machine. The body cannot go to the past or cannot go to the future. The body just can be in the, the right moment. But the mind is opposite. The mind don't want to be in the moment. The mind wants you thinking. So thought, is not you cannot think about the moment. You just can think about imagination, the future, or think about something happen. So that the mind, you need to stop your thought process if you want to be your mind being in the moment. The mind just there, you just observe. Now just watch, no thinking. So this is why when you go start flowing, or when you go sparring, if you start, want to learn how to flow it, you need to pay attention to your thought process. Because if you start thinking, it's meaning, what the meaning is, your mind is not in the moment. So your mind is the future or your mind in the past and your bud in the present. So how you can control your bud good if your mind is not there? You can see clear this? M make sense? Even logic? Yeah. So this is why the, the flow state is when the mind and the bud doing the same thing, work for the same purpose. So this is why if you start sparring, you start training, and your mind is still in the future. When I say in the future, I want to win. I want to pass the guard. I want to tap or opposite. I want to defend. I don't want the guy give to me. The guy grab my, my lapel. I already go broken because I'm scared. No, every action, if I don't need it, because my mind already tell me something. If I start in panic, if I start use power, because my mind tell me something, some danger is here. I have some danger, so now I put some power. But what tell me to do use some power is my mind. My mind think about the future or the fear about the past. So you cannot flow, you cannot be in the moment. So if you shut up your ego when you talk, shut up your mind and just feeling what you do. So now you use the intelligence of your body. Your body tell you what you need to do it, not your mind anymore. Your mind just give you the technical answer. You know, you, teach, you learn before how to do the sweep, how to do the pass. You just use just that data, just the data to how to move your body. You don't need the data your ego create about all his fear, all his desire. You don't need it. You just need the clean information of your body. It's still, you can still want, I want to become good, I want to become better, I want to become the champion. It's okay. But when you start training or you start fight, you need to forget this. Because you achieve this natural. Because if you 100% there and do, do what you need to do, it, you have more chance to get what you want. So this, that, that alignment between your mind and your bud is what in the martial arts you talk about. Mind, bud, spirit. And even now you don't talk, you even talk about the spirit now, the being. It's just bud and mind. I want you to see your guys see the clear between bud and mind and see when the bud wants something when the mind wants something yeah sometimes the guy catch your arm if you pay attention and you're feeling your bud tell you i'll oh, be careful in your arm push her better but maybe your mind tell no you need escape you need pass i want to do that pass i want to do that escape i want to do that technique so now you follow your mind you don't see the the clear information your bud gives to you so this are in the sense when you do physical thing, you need to pay attention more what your bud tells you, not what your mind tells you. you know? So in that con concept, the mind help the bud do what the bud needs to do. It's not opposite. When you your mind wants, no, I want to win, I want to force the technique, now you use your body to follow your mind. But your mind does not have the best information. Who has the best information? your sense, yeah, your physicality. Your physicality tell you what's the best way to do it. And after, your mind help you to give the information, what technique you can use, how you can move the body. But that, that learn process, we already do through the week when you practice technique. So in that moment, it's the opposite. You use your mind, your body to teach your body information, yeah? So in that moment, it's different. 
you give instruction from your mind to your body. Oh, do the technique here. It's one, two, three. So you, your mind support your body for your body to learn techniques. When you go flow and it's time to training, time for sparring, it's now it's opposite. Now the body give your mind information. For now your mind have new information, relax. And once you do this, you start to see you don't need too much your mind in that moment. Because the mind just gives the base information, how you put the hand. But you don't need to tell you, it's already there. Now you don't need thinking about how I do the technique. Your butt can help you. You just need shut up a little bit, stop your ego, stop what you want to do it, and feel in what you want to do it. This I say like again, come back for the direction. You need to have direction. Because if you don't have direction, you can do anything. You maybe just stay there, static. So you need to have direction. You need to think, oh, I can I need passing guard, I need sweep, I need to do that thing. So the direction is there. But how happened is not your choice. You cannot control everything. The only thing you can control is your own mind and your body. Don't try to control too much your, your partner, your opponent. Don't try to control too much. You cannot. See what he's doing and try to be around what he's doing. That kind of control. Think about the control is you see what happened, you can follow. This is the control. It's not the control about holding, stop what he's doing. See what, feeling what he's doing and go around what he's doing. And that way you start to follow more your body information. Okay, make, make sense? You think you can see this and the, and the, and the sparring moment, you know, and the, when you start flowing. So that's the goal. Because this I see, you now, you need to recognize sometime if you don't have like the goal, maybe if, oh, if I don't have goal, I cannot do anything. So you need to have the goal. But the goal is just the direction. The goal cannot be I want to tap, I want to win, or I don't want to lose. Doesn't matter, you know. Just start clean your mind. It's the same thing in normal life, you know. You need to wake up, you need to do things, you know. You need to go to work or you need to go to school, you need to prepare. You have the thing you need to do it. This you cannot change. But what you can change is align your body, your mind. Everything you do in your daily life, be there. 100% your mind there. Don't think about what you need to do in the future, in the next step. No, when you work, don't think about jiu-jitsu. Work, do there, do what you need to do it. It just doing you have feel like good. You don't need you don't need to win the fight you feel good. Just because you're training you feel good. Why? Because your body, your mind is aligned. You feel good because of this. But if it's just about mind, again I don't judge. If you judge, no, it's my thing. I know it's my desire. I want to beat everyone. I want to become the best in the dojo. I want to become best in the in the country. Doesn't matter. If you this, you know it's mind process. So you just feel good when you win. If you lose, you cannot have good feeling because it's a mental thing. For mental thing, your mind will achieve that kind of thing. But when you align body and mind, the result doesn't matter. Just do it, just live is enough to feel good. And when you feel good that way, naturally you learn more, naturally your technique come more, naturally your brain open to come the new information. So that's what you're looking for in that class. Go for that state. So people have the same feeling when go surfing, for example. Because you think when you go surfing, what is the goal, you know? is not have anything. You go there, you just feel good because you're there. In the nature, something, something like uh, diving, it feel good, yeah, just there. And for another people say, oh, no meaning for me. So, no, I don't feel good. Why you feel so fun? Because he's never be there, mind and, and body do the same thing. So what you look in the Jiu-Jitsu, in the flow class, in the Serbic class, look for that kind of thing. Body and mind do the same thing. But you need to remember, Jiu-Jitsu is a physical thing. It's not a mental thing anymore. You know, it's the physicality. Now your mind need to follow what your body tells you. It's not opposite. Because if you do opposite, the frustration is out there. When not able to do something, they might tell you the frustration. Oh, you're not good. Oh, now you're in the bad position. No, you need to look for good position. So you need to pay attention to that voice in your mind. That voice is the ego. That voice you need to shut up. That voice you don't need now. 
Okay, you don't need now. When you plan your life in Jiu-Jitsu, okay, you can think and, oh, I want to do this, I want to train that kind of thing. But when you flow and when you fight, when you're sparring, you don't need this. You need clear the connection between body and mind and listen what your body tells you. So this is why I tell you, you know, the first signal is the tension. Don't do any tension. Don't try to hold anything. Even if you're more strong than another guy, it's the more important this too. No, relax. The guy push you, okay? He's push you, you move. You move and see what you can do it from that movement. No, start to see different connections from that way, okay? So make sense? So we go start the flow now. Try have that feeling, try feel this, you know? It's not time for win or lose, but movement. Don't give easy things too, okay? Don't, the guy just touching you, you'd fall down. It's not the idea. But don't force anything, okay? This is the flow time. When the next, when you finish this, you decide, oh, let's do technical sparring. Now you can put a little bit more focus on what you want. No, I want to sweep that way. You can practice that way, no problem, you know? I want just your guys see the difference. Time for flow time, flow training, technique training, and sparring training. You no, know, it's different. You need to be able to change. Flow training, you don't need your mind, you don't need your ego to tell you. Pay attention to your body. Technique time, time to thinking. Feel, thinking, why my hand is here? Why the technique work? Why I, why I put my hand here? Why I put my foot here? It's time to thinking. Okay, use your brain to thinking, understand the mechanic. After you understand the mechanic, feeling, do the technique, feeling, feeling the technique. Now you put information in your body. Okay, when you go for this technical sparring, okay, now more think about more the sport. I want to compete, I want to become level up. Now you take the partner, the partner know this thing too. It's not my enemy, but let's do a little bit more hard. You no, know, let's do more technical. And now you can go like sparring. Choose one guy is almost your power, you can go it. If you choose the guy, oh, the guy is more weak than you, but you still want to do technical sparring, take a little bit of your power, you know, and you can do it too. And now you can challenge each other. So now you can do your best. But you need to learn how to separate that thing, you know. The problem when you mix, so you don't have control of your, your mind and body process. So this is important, you start to see more how your mind process work. So, so this is why that class, the class, is not for about physical, it's not physical jiu-jitsu, it's mental jiu-jitsu. No, but the mental jiu-jitsu, just you can go inside. No, I cannot do anything. I just can tell you the direction. And it come, the point is, don't believe what I say. Don't believe. Do it. Try. See if it's true or not. Because if you just believe, you think you know it. Oh, I believe what you say. I make sense. And you never try to do it. So you never change. So don't believe in me. Try do it. Try see the difference. Try see the difference when you just relax and see how bad is your butt movement? And when you tense, see the difference and you can see all. Oh, let's take that bug intelligence to bring to the jiu-jitsu. Okay? So let's take the part and, and start going. Thanks.